Okay, uh, I got this interesting question. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I get I get lots of questions. So th this question was from a guy. He's fairly successful. He follows my channel, uh, and uh, you know, he just asked me, Loy, uh, j just to understand, why is it that you work so hard, post these videos, when you get so little views? And you do the same thing over and over again. I mean, isn't it boring and isn't it, wouldn't it backfire both to the viewers as well as to yourself, resulting in burnout or monotony? Now, this is a valid question, huh? a very smart, valid question. So I listened to what he had to say. <laughs> and uh, I, I told him, can I ask you a question? He said, yeah. I said, you work as so-and-so, so-and-so position for so-and-so company. You've been doing it for, you know, six, seven, eight years or whatever. You do it every day. Don't you get bored? He said, yeah, sometimes I do get bored. I said, why do you continue? He said, I need to make money, right? So I said, ah, voila, <laughs> I need to make money. But he, then he asked me, he said, but you're not making money out of these videos as much as just when you find it or $700 a month. So then I said, okay, fine. This conversation is going to take long. I'll make a video. And this is in response to his question. See, if you actually notice every day after I get up, uh, my, my routine is set. I get up, take my black coffee, eat a few uh, fruits, dress up, you know, dress up like this and uh, complete my one, two kilometers slow run, then take my GoPro and I start my videos. And uh, the videos are planned the night before. I plan out what I'm going to say and okay, and the content. And then I shoot the videos. After that, I go back home, uh, might go with my wife for grocery shopping. You, you know my schedule. Go grocery shopping, come back, have shower, eat food, sit and make the videos. Then after uploading, speak to my clients. And by the time it is night, video games, little relax, plan out next day, repeat. And I do this every single day. And I think I've been doing this for the last four years or five years. Now, why do I do it? Why? What is the reason for doing this? Now, one can be like, you know, the same reason you go to the office. But actually, in my case, I do it because of a principle. And that principle is, it's uh, the acronym that I can give you is uh, M-E-D, M-E-G, Meg. Okay, I just came out with the, uh, or you can even say M-E-T, whatever. I'll tell you what is the full form. Minimum, the first word is minimum. The second one is every day. And the third one is goals, or you can say tasks, M-E-T or M-E-G, whatever you want. I know you can put any other words, but just, just for the sake of remembering, you can either remember Meg, Meg as in that shark, Megalad, Megalodian shark, that movie, you know, Jason Statham, Meg, I think that's easy. Or Met, like, you know, some medical this thing. So it's a very simple thing. It's nothing, it's no rocket science. What is your minimum? Minimum is the least amount of effort. Okay. Now, why minimum? The first word minimum. Because if uh, every day, if you were to ask me, Loy, run 10 kilometers to 20 kilometers, it's not easy. I've done it before in the past. But if you run 21 kilometers, you can't do it every day. And if you try to do it every day, there's wear and tear of your joints. So if you do it one day, you have to take next day rest. So I believe in a principle whereby I do a minimum where my joints don't get hurt, where it's not so hard, where I get up in the morning and don't say, oh shit, man, I have to do it again. I, I keep a task, repetitive task, so simple that is enjoyable to do. Because remember, if you do something and you make it so hard, so complicated, like I, I know some people when they want to start the gym, they will do one hour cardio, half an hour bodybuilding, then 50, then 15, 20 minutes yoga. Then after that, they'll do the cool down. 
then they'll do the massage thing and then they'll go shower and everything and then they will eat this and at this time they make it so complicated you get burnt out man you can you cannot do it you can't do like even uh, these extreme diets i will eat only meat i'll not eat sweet i'll not eat sugar i'll not eat bread i'll not eat at some point you'll go mad so when you're talking about doing something every day make it easy make it easy like instead of if i tell you do 100 push ups if i tell you just do 3 you know three law i can do then do three every day so at least you're doing something so the first word is minimum the second one is consistency which i've told you before you have to do this task every single day okay now every day my wife knows i will go for my run every day my wife knows i will make my video every day my wife knows okay food this is my everyday meal whatever you know she prepares something so she she knows what is to be expected now the power in doing a repetitive task you get better at it see if you actually notice my videos i speak without a script i've been doing this for for 20 20 20 25 30 years i think i don't know i've been you know talking is one thing communicating is another i've been talking i've been talkative right from childhood but in terms of being a public speaker i started from the age of 16 and then i always uh, try to get stage time so this has been something that i refined over the number of years like if you meet people who are into sales which who are infomercials and you know talk show host and all that they get better with time as they keep doing it over and over again they get better and that is why they have see for example if you try to do what i'm doing create a youtube channel and uh try to talk without say i'm not saying it's impossible but you would find it challenging you will really find it challenging especially if you don't have experience and recording is one thing uploading no editing uh using the software uploading it and uh, you know sharing it that takes practice you know it's like an uh, being a karate fighter or mma fighter to know what is next should you use a jiu jitsu should you use a kickboxing stance should you use a karate should you use a boxer is the same so there are multiple options so you need to know what to choose just like you see computer games some people play and they know what weapon to take out like typing you don't look down you just type it so it comes with repetition so that's where you need to do it every day and lastly goals you need to have a target just blindly doing something without a target uh, and you know it, like i tell people you can't just say oh i will love you my wife says i love you i said do and show me i need to see it i need to be able okay today you did 1 2 3 4 okay fine i keep it real because end of the day if i tell my wife i love you i need to bring in money i need to bring in the dough to take care of her so i have my targets every day in terms of revenue in terms of client in terms of work there are so many things man it's it's not a, not a kick walk you know so now it comes comes down to you okay what are your minimum every day goals now why do i bring this topic up the reason why i bring this topic up is because one of my friends she you know she is a successful uh, uh makeup artist pretty successful and uh, she gave me a very surprising statement i was talking to her on video after many many years and this time when i saw her she her eyes were sunk in and she looked stressed out and i was like oh what happened you know so nothing happened you know i'm still the same i said no you look more stressed out and so i addressed the issue and because i pressed on you know i'm close to her she said law i'm under a lot of stress and family and business and uh, so many things and no time for this no time for that so that is where i told her you need to have the same minimum every day uh goals you know you need to have this and i told her see minimum every day goals doesn't mean just work 
minimum everyday goals means taking care of your health because remember this body that you have it's like a machine for example the scooter you use a scooter to drive from one place to another if bloody breaks down you'll not be able to use it then you'll have to put it for servicing and wait for 10 days uh, and then new parts and come back same thing with the human body if you do not take care of it or a human mind or a human spirit uh, you will crash you will burn and then for one one week or one month will be completely out of it so with minimum everyday goals i'm not just talking about making money career and all that keep a balance health keep a balance in terms of relaxing gaming uh yeah you know recuperation whatever relaxes you keep a balance of everything family time and yes when it's time to work you have to be extreme okay and no that doesn't mean every single day you have uh you have to spend hours and hours even something small the bare minimum like i told you know minimum minimum everyday goals that will help so that is why even with my wife and uh, baby i don't spend much time but the time that i spend the minimum is worth it so let me know what are your thoughts with regards to this minimum everyday goals uh, do you have such a routine do you try such a thing and remember it is not all about numbers or oh, how many people are watching your video how many people liked what you did or it is you need to hold yourself to a certain standard whether you get See whether I get 10 views, 100 views, 10,000 views. My, I know, irrespective of what the world does, what my standard benchmark is, and I target it every single day. So this is what I wanted to tell you. One last thing. One last thing. This guy, his name is GSP, uh, George Saint Pierre. He's one of the uh, one of the top MMA fighters who's retired. His coach Faraz Sahabi, I think his name is, he gave a beautiful statement at Joe Rogan's podcast where he said that most of the people train one day so extreme for two, three days they take rest. They're not able to do because they let their body heal. He's saying while we on the other hand, we train every day, little bit, but we make sure you train every day. So you don't tax your body so much where... Uh, your body is so broken, you can't do anything. In the same way, I believe instead of doing something so extreme that you can't do it again or you don't think about it, do the bare minimum. Enjoy the process. Keep it relaxing. And uh, like this, you know, you want to eat an elephant. How do you do it? Eat it one bite at a time. <laughs> so I hope this video added some value to you. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Okay, this is me signing off. Okay, take care.